To differentiate this, this function here, we should start by writing this portion here in terms of exponents. So instead of having square root, we have sine of 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1, all raised to the 1 half power. So before we differentiate this, we need to recognize that overall this function is a product of two separate functions. So to differentiate it, we need to use the product rule. So y prime is equal to the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. Okay, so we'll start with this first derivative here, x, the derivative of x squared plus 3. Using the simple power rule, we have that the derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of 3 is just 0. So we have 2x times this function. Then we add on x squared plus 3 times the derivative of this function. Okay, so now to differentiate this piece, we notice that overall we have a power. We have sine of 7x plus e to the x, 2x plus 1 all being raised to the 1 half power. To differentiate that using the chain rule, we have 1 half. Then we keep the inside. So this part that we're doing right now is the derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside. So 1 half times sine 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1. Then we have to decrease 1 from the power, or decrease the power by 1. So it takes us to the power of negative 1 half. Then we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So the derivative of sine of 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1. Okay, so now let's take, in this next step, we'll take care of this derivative here. Everything else remains the same. Okay, so we don't have any primes in any of these places, so we just carry them throughout the next step. Okay, so all of this is the part that we've already uh, differentiated. We've already taken care of this piece. Now we need to differentiate sine of 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1. So we start by finding the derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside. Okay, so ignoring this 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1, we see that sine of x is our outside function. The derivative of sine of x is cosine. We have cosine, but we don't want cosine x. We want cosine of our inside function. So our inside is 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1.
then we need to multiply by the derivative of this inside. Okay, so the final step is to differentiate 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1. So in the interest of not writing a bunch of stuff, we have all of the same stuff. And then we need to differentiate 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1. Okay, so 7x, the derivative of 7x is just 7. Then plus the derivative of e to the 2x plus 1. Using the chain rule, this is equal to e to the 2x plus 1 times the derivative of 2x plus 1. Okay, because e to the x is the outside function, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and the inside function is 2x plus 1. So f prime of g is e to the 2x plus 1 times g prime. Okay, and again, we have all of that. And then from this piece right here, we have 7 plus the derivative of 2x plus 1 is just 2. So we have e to the 2x plus 1 times 2. So now we've done all of our differentiating. We need to write all of this stuff together. So what we have is this. 2x times sine of 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1, all raised to the 1 half power, plus x squared plus 3 times 1 half times sine of 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1 to the negative 1 half times cosine of 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1 times the derivative of 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1, which is right here. 7 plus 2e to the 2x plus 1. Okay, to clean this up a little bit, we'll just bring this power, this negative exponent, down into the denominator. So we get 2x times this stuff here. Plus x squared plus 3. These two are going to drop down into the denominator times cosine of 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1 times 7 plus 2e to the 2x plus 1. all divided by 2 times the square root of sine of 7x plus e to the 2x plus 1. Okay, now we, we could get a common denominator here if we want to, but I'm not going to do that right now.